Hello everyone, welcome to Gen Infopedia. In this video, I explained about what is RCD, RCCB and RCBO and how it works. Before starting this video, please subscribe and support my YouTube channel. So generally, RCD is a current operated device, but ELCB is a voltage operated device. This both RCCB and RCBO is the family of RCD. So RCD means residual current device and RCCB means residual current circuit breaker. But RCBO means residual current circuit breaker with over current protection. We will see the purpose of this RCD. So RCDs are an extremely effective form of shock protection and it trips the circuit when there is an earth fault current in the load system. So the most widely used RCCB ratings are 30 milliamps which is used for human protection and 100 milliamps which means above 100 milliamps devices is used for equipment protections. Why RCD is required? Generally, our human body has a high resistance. So if somebody accidentally touches that live conductor which means phase conductor, a very small current will flow through our body which is not enough to trigger the fuse or MCB. So that person may get severe injury. To avoid or prevent from electric shock, we require this RCD. And 300 to 500 milliamps RCCB may be used where only fire protection is required. For example, that uh, lighting circuits where the risk of electric shock is very very small. How RCD will operate? Generally in an electrical circuit, the amount of current flows through the phase, which means line, should return through neutral only. So the current in the two conductors are equal and opposite and cancel with each other. In this above conditions, this RCD will not operate. Suppose if any mismatch between two currents flowing through phase and neutral suddenly detect by RCD and trip the circuit within 30 milliseconds. So RCDs detect an imbalance in the live and neutral currents. And RCD will not operate in some conditions so first one is RCD will not operate against current overloads which means overload current. For example, if a phase and neutral fault occurs due to any kind of short circuit or an overload in the system, the RCD won't trip and RCD only damaged. Only main MCB will probably trip or the service fuse will get failed due to that short circuit or overload condition. And RCD will not protect against the overheating. For example, if the conductors are not properly screwed into the terminals, what happened? Automatically, the heat will generate in the terminals. And this condition, RCD will not protect. Also, it will not protect against the live to neutral shocks. It is very, very important because the current in the live and neutral is balanced condition. So, if you touch a live and neutral conductors at the same time, you may still get a hot shock only and this RCD won't trip. Generally, there are two types of RCDs. First one is ultramechanical RCD and this RCD used in previous years. But nowadays, we are using this second type of RCD that is electronic operated RCD. So what is RCBO? Residual current breaker with over current protection. For example, if a live and neutral fault occurs due to any kind of short circuit in a system or an overload, the RCD won't trip and may be damaged. Only that our circuit main MCB will got trip and the service fuse will get failed. So now to avoid this MCB and RCD combined in a single unit. See this picture. First one is MCB and second one is RCD. So it is called an RCBO. But in our homes and offices, we are using that MCB and RCD separately. So replacing an MCB with an RCBO of the same rating is generally safe. Now I drawn one simple circuit to explain how RCB will work. And it may be very helpful to you to understand the working principle of this RCD. So first we will see the list of components used in this RCD. So first one is test button which is used for uh, testing this RCCB whether it is worked or not. And second one, this one is resistor. And uh, this one is the differential current transformer. So this uh, differential current transformer is used to measure the line and neutral currents. And this is sensing coil and this sensing coil operates 
if there is any unbalance between a line and neutral automatically the sensing coil will operates and this one is the electronic relay so this line and the neutral cable wounded with this differential current transformer and directly connected with the load in normal operation all the current down the live conductor uh, returns up to this neutral conductor so in this case there is no difference in this uh, the current transformer and uh, in case if any fault to earth or if a person touching a live component in the attached appliances or any other equipments it causes some of the current to take a different path this difference causes a current in the sense coil which means the changing of magnetic field induces the current in the sense coil and this sense coil activates the relay this electronic relay so the circuit will be disconnected this test button uh, connected between uh, neutral and the line cable through a resistor so if you press the test button it allows the correct operation of the device to be verified by passing a small current through this wire Uh, this simulates a fault by creating an imbalance in the sense coil if the rcd does not trip when this button is pressed then the device must be replaced so rcd testing need to be done on a regular basis so friends my next video is difference between elcb and rcd so please subscribe and support our channel thanks for watching this video